Synonyms and antonyms. The matching game extravaganza. Hey learners! Today, we're diving deep into an exciting part of our English language journey. Matching games centered around synonyms and antonyms. Through this, not only will we enhance our vocabulary, but we'll also make the process fun and engaging. So, are you ready to match up? Matching games involve pairing two related items together. In our context, you'll match a word with its synonym, a word that has a similar meaning, or its antonym, a word that has the opposite meaning. For example, you might be given the word, happy, and you'll have to match it with, joyful, synonym, or, sad, antonym. 1. Vocabulary expansion. As you match words, you'll inevitably learn new ones, expanding your vocabulary. 2. Better understanding. It's one thing to know a word, but understanding its opposite or similar meaning can give a deeper context. 3. Engagement. Let's be honest. Learning can be tedious. But gains? They keep our brains active and engaged. 1. Prepare cards. On one set of cards, write down the main words. On another set, write down their synonyms or antonyms. 2. Shuffle. Mix up the second set of cards. 3. Match. Lay out the main word cards on a table, pick a card from the shuffled pile, and match it with its corresponding synonym or antonym. 4. Time it. For added fun, you can time yourself or play against someone. Who can match all the pairs the fastest? Let's try a mini game together. Main words. 1. Fast. 2. Big. 3. Happy. Shuffled cards. Large. Slow. Joyful. Now, match them up. Answer. 1. Fast. Slow. 2. Big. Large. 3. Happy. Joyful. And that's a wrap on our matching game session for synonyms and antonyms. We hope you enjoyed this interactive learning approach. Remember, the key to mastering any language is consistent practice and what better way than through games. Keep matching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.